Tom Brady recently said goodbye to a stunning luxury apartment in Tribeca, New York. He and his wife, Giselle Bungeden, sold her fabulous apartment for nearly $37 million and pocketed over $11 million in profit. The stunning apartment has stellar views of the Hudson River and features a gourmet kitchen and games room. The apartment complex even features a state-of-the-art fitness center, of course, a swimming pool, and sauna room. Brady needs to keep his throwing arm in tip-top shape, so naturally, any abode he buys has to include a gym. Here's a look inside the beautiful Tribeca apartment Tom and Giselle just sold. Tribeca is a very classy Manhattan neighborhood, so it's no surprise Tom and Giselle bought an upscale apartment in the area. Now that Brady is playing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the couple aren't spending as much time in New York City, so it makes sense they decided to unload one of their luxury abodes. The power couple sold the five-bedroom apartment to an undisclosed Connecticut-based financier for $36.8 million, but they still own another apartment in the affluent apartment complex at 70 Vestry Street. It's much smaller and not nearly as elegant, but still quite impressive. Brady and Bungeton made $11.34 million in profit from the sale as they purchased the apartment in 2018 for $25.46 million. It seems Brady is as skilled at flipping condos as he is at throwing spirals. The 12th floor of the apartment offers stunning views of the waterfront and New York skyline. Whoever bought the apartment will no doubt enjoy it. Let's take a look inside Tom Brady's former apartment. The apartment features five bedrooms and five bathrooms, over 4,647 square feet of interior space. It's certainly roomy. The apartment has at least two sitting areas, and both offer stunning views of the Hudson River. One of the sitting areas is decked out in beautiful gold and green decor. That's strange since Brady doesn't play for the Packers. It leads to a small kitchen nook and a gaming area that includes a billiards table and high-end chess set. Another sitting area features a small desk that looks out over the waterfront and large bookshelf that goes over the doorway and covers one of the side walls. The master bedroom is extremely elegant. It also features gorgeous waterfront views and is large enough for a California king-size bed, couch, and some chairs. Connected to the master bedroom, you'll find the master bathroom, which features a marble bathtub and vanity. There's also a huge walk-in shower. The stunning kitchen features a marble island and counters, as well as floor-to-ceiling windows, which bring in a lot of natural light. Brady certainly must have enjoyed whipping up a protein shake in the lovely kitchen. There's also a built-in wine cooler that the new owner can stock with high-end bubbly. Brady has three children, so he has to think about space whenever he buys a new mansion or luxury apartment. His former Tribeca apartment was a perfect place for his wife and kids as the apartment features many places to relax. The spacious living room connects to a large dining area, and there's also a family room and a great room. There's even a second dining area with connected living space. This looks over the Hudson River and the 1,900 square foot terrace that surrounds the apartment. The terrace is a great place to enjoy the crisp New York air and cook up a New York strip on the barbecue. If you're lucky enough to buy an apartment at 70 Vestry Apartment Complex in Tribeca, you'll have access to over 8,000 square feet of amenities. The 46 resident complex has a children's room to keep the kids occupied and a library filled with thousands of books. If residents need to be pampered, there's a wellness center with an 82-foot swimming pool, hot and cold plunge pools, steam room, sauna, and state-of-the-art gym. The gym is filled with a huge selection of weights, cardio equipment, and even big screen TVs. There's no need for a Peloton when you live at 70 Vestry Street. Brady likely used the gym every day he was at the apartment. Residents of the complex have access to 24-hour concierge service, as well as a private carport that houses luxury sedans and supercars. Brady would never have to worry about his Rolls Royce or Bugatti being stolen when he was living at 70 Vestry Street in Tribeca. Tom Brady still has a very impressive real estate portfolio, even though he sold numerous properties in recent years. In addition to the Tribeca apartment, he recently sold a five-bedroom Brookline, Massachusetts mansion close to the Gillette Stadium for about $33.9 million. Then there's the one remaining apartment he owns in Tribeca. Brady's former mansion in Brookline was where he spent most of his time when he was playing for the Patriots. Giselle would often post pics of Tom and the kids enjoying the lavish estate on social media. The mansion features a cozy den with home theater, spacious living room with high vaulted ceilings, and even a golf course in the backyard. Yes, Brady loves golf. He's pretty good, too. He has an 8.1 handicap, which is quite impressive for an average player. It's a far cry from Tiger Woods' career-high handicap of plus 0.93, but Brady is a pro football player and not a pro golfer. 
just in case you didn't know that. Brady first put his Brookline estate on the market in 2019 for $39.5 million, and he finally sold it last year for $33.9 million. During his first season with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Brady was living in a massive 21,796-square-foot estate at 58 Bahama Circle in Tampa, Florida. The stunning estate boasts eight bedrooms, 16 bathrooms, a pool and a spa area, a home movie theater, a club room with pool and games tables, as well as a full-service bar, and much more. It was the perfect place for Brady in his inaugural season with the Bucks, but he was only renting the mansion. Prepare to be shocked, because Brady was reportedly paying $75,000 a month in rent. It must be nice to be able to afford a rental as expensive as that. Brady doesn't want to rent in Florida. He wants to own as many Florida properties as he can get his hands on. He's been buying up property like crazy in Florida, and we expect that trend to continue. He recently purchased a $17 million mansion on Indian Creek Island in Florida, which many people in the Miami real estate market refer to as billionaire bunker. Brady will have a number of famous neighbors, including Ivanka Trump, billionaire investor Carl Icahn, and model Adriana Lima. Indian Creek Island has its own private police force, a country club, a golf course, and only about 30 houses. Brady's new mansion is extremely exclusive, but it won't be around for much longer. Brady and Bunchton plan to tear down the mansion and build their dream home on the plot instead. They say the new mansion will be state-of-the-art and completely eco-friendly. They wanted the land, not the mansion. It's a pristine spot, so $17 million is actually quite a deal. Brady is still on the lookout for a new home in the Tampa area, as it would be unreasonable for him to commute from Miami to Tampa for every game. It might be a fun three-hour drive for Brady and his Bugatti, but it would be a huge waste of time and gas. Late last year, there were reports that he was eyeing a stunning $7.5 million mansion in Clearwater, Florida in the Tampa Bay area. The five-bedroom modern crib is located in an upscale gated community and features five full baths and three half baths. The 8,548-square-foot mansion also comes with its own private dock, private gym, theater room, billiard room, media center, and even an elevator. There's reports that Brady was also considering buying the empty lot right next door. Who knows what wild design plans Brady and Bunchen have planned now. They could really create something amazing and make all their neighbors incredibly jealous. Brady's two-year contract with the Buccaneers is worth $50 million, and it's very likely that he'll be looking at more Florida real estate in the future if the contract is renewed. Remember that mansion that Brady was renting in Tampa? Do you know it's owned by another sports superstar? It's actually owned by former Yankee shortstop and MLB Hall of Famer Derek Jeter. The luxurious estate is now on the market for $29 million. So, break out your wallet if you want to live in a mansion previously occupied by two sports legends, okay? That's it, folks. Thanks for watching.